This is your daily dose of all things royal. Welcome back, my gorgeous, good-looking friends. A picture says a thousand words. And yesterday I did a video talking about how Meghan really is aspiring to get that princess title. And I remember going through some photos and seeing this one. And I thought to myself, hmm, it really does look like Meghan has it out for Catherine. In fact, this is not the only photo where Meghan is caught giving dagger eyes to Catherine. So what was really going on here? Well, this was July 10, 2018, shortly after Meghan and Harry got married. As we know now, Meghan was causing all sorts of problems before the wedding, so the relationship here, understandably so, had been strained. And what is clear is that all of this was for the cameras. Catherine was being polite, so was William, Meghan smiling like a Chesser cat. And on the surface, if you're not following this, you wouldn't have suspected that anything was wrong. But knowing what we know now, looking back and watching this all over again, you start to see things that you didn't see the first time around. And that's what I'm going to point out to you today in this video. Starting off was the question of, was Megan giving William goo-goo eyes? As you can see here in this picture, it does look like Megan is looking at William loving and adoringly. But I don't think so anymore. Because when you look at the footage, you can see that Megan starts fixating on Catherine. And this is something that I noticed that Megan has done whenever she had to be in the same vicinity of Catherine. Megan is very insecure, but she also does want to be Catherine and is very jealous and envious of her. Many times over, we've seen her caught in photographs like this, staring at Catherine, but not in an appreciative way, but in a very malicious and jealous way. But getting back to the point that I'm trying to make here is... You can see where in this video, the point where the photographer took that photo. And as you can see, Megan is a little bit behind, almost aligned with Catherine. So it would be logical to think that she was looking over at Catherine. But this is just my guess. We have many videos and photos of Megan looking over at William with those doe eyes. We do know that she is fixated on him as well. I think Megan and Harry, more Megan, so has a vendetta against Catherine and William. I think what really bugged Megan was that Catherine didn't want to be besties with her and couldn't stand that Catherine wouldn't give her the time of day, wouldn't strike up conversation, wouldn't engage, just pleasantries. And that really bothered Megan. Megan wanted to be acknowledged by Catherine, and Catherine refused to give her that, which is why Megan is on this campaign to take Catherine down. And it's almost as if Megan, everything that she has been putting her energy towards is to try and one up the royal family, particularly William and Catherine. I almost feel like Megan looks at the royal family as if they were the boyfriend that dumped her and she is doing everything she possibly can to show them what they're missing out on. But Megan is like one of those psychotic exes that if the ex-boyfriend doesn't pay attention to her, then she goes in to sabotage him, whether it be stalking him, writing letters, you know, baby reindeer type of stuff. Megan hates the fact that Catherine rejected her, and that's why we see all this crazy stuff happening online that Megan and Harry are funding and supporting. You can see this envy that she has as we watch her here going down the line, supposed to be focused on the people that she's shaking hands with and saying hello to. She can't help but continue to look over to see what Catherine's doing. And you can see that she is trying to talk to people, but then her attention does then direct over into Catherine's place. Now, at the time, you might not have noticed it, but knowing what we know now, you clearly can see that out of the corner of her eye, she was always keeping tabs on what William and Catherine were doing all throughout this entire event. So after William and Catherine finish greeting people in the line, they move over to the side, followed by Harry and Meghan. Watch now Meghan's face. You will see her mask drops to reveal the irritation that she has because she has to now walk behind Catherine. Watch her look at Catherine. Megan then goes in to say something to Harry, gritting her teeth. So it's one of those fake smiles, but she's talking through her teeth. She's not pleased. And um, Prince Harry, who's there too, he's the honorary air commodore of RF Honington, and they were. They all proceed to walk, but look at how irritated and annoyed Megan is. Throughout Megan's false smiles, you see her mask really slip here when this guy cuts in front of her, and the irritation that comes across her face. 
of realizing that she will always have to walk behind Catherine. And she doesn't like that. She honestly believes that she should be the one leading the way because it's all about her. This psychotic look that she has gives me chills because that's a look that says, I'm going to do harm to you because you don't like me. And look at what this woman has done to this family over the last six years. Throughout this service, Megan continues to stare at Catherine. Like, that's not normal. Megan has that energy, and I don't doubt for a second that Catherine didn't feel the darkness of her stare on her. It's why Catherine had to keep turning around here, and Megan would shift her gaze, or whenever Catherine would look away, Megan then would take another glance, as you can see here. I think a very big reason as to why Megan didn't want to stay anymore in the royal family was because she felt inferior. Catherine had all the confidence that Megan wished she had. And being ignored by Catherine was driving her batshit crazy. Hence the reason why we see later photos of Megan staring with these daggers at Catherine. Megan was really pissed off at Catherine, and I'm going to show you why. After the church service, they all went back to Buckingham Palace for this RAF ceremony. Here they are all walking in, and Catherine makes this boss move that really pissed Megan off. The Fab Four are all walking in together, and Catherine wants nothing to do with Megan and immediately moves over to the other side of William. And Megan notices what Catherine did, and she is not happy because watch her face as they go to sit down. She's angry that she just got snubbed by Catherine right there without even Catherine having to say a word. <laughs> that was masterfully done because Catherine didn't have to say a word to show that she was the one in charge. And as you can see, Harry notices Meghan's demeanor shift to it being like angry. You can see Meghan's jaw is clenched so tightly. She is raging inside. So now when they go to their seat, they're all standing there. And as you can see, Catherine is talking with Harry and not really saying anything to Megan. And you can see the body language as to then Harry turns over to Megan. Megan's not happy. So now when you look at these photos, it paints the picture as to why Megan was looking so hateful at Catherine. It's because right before then, Catherine snubbed Megan by walking on the other side because she didn't want to walk next to her. Look at the tension in Megan's jaw. Like, I have a headache looking at her jaw. She was raging. She hated the fact that she was not being included in this conversation. She was talking to Harry and deliberately snubbed her. Megan was pissed. And when you look at Megan throughout this ceremony, that Rick this grin that she had plastered all over her face, gone. I think this really bothered Megan because the one person who didn't want to have anything to do with her is the one person that Megan desperately wanted to get approval from. And now when you look at this final photo, you can see here that Megan was fixated the entire time on Catherine because of her obsession. As you can see, everyone's attention is right in front of them on this flag that they were marching across the courtyard with. Megan had no reason to be looking off into Catherine's direction. Nobody else is. From the very beginning, Catherine wanted nothing to do with Megan. Rightfully so. She had that gut instinct to stay away. But I think the straw that really broke the camel's back for Megan, that turned frenemy into full-on enemy, was the Commonwealth Service in 2020, where Catherine snubbed Megan on a global stage. I think we've all had that moment where you wave to someone and you're waving and they don't wave back and you feel stupid. Think about how this was magnified on a global platform, the level of embarrassment that Megan must have felt because she was, again, snubbed by the one person that she was so desperately seeking approval from. Catherine handled Megan skillfully. She doesn't have to say a word to make Megan feel iced out. Those Windsor ladies don't have to say a word. They just got to give a look to wipe that rictus grin off of her face. Megan couldn't get out of that church fast enough. Megan was so rude. She was hustling to get out of there. Instead of shaking everybody's hands and chit-chatting for a little bit. No, come on, Harry. Let's go. We got to go. As you can see, she was really up under Harry, standing way back, saying goodbye, but very, very hands off. With that big smile plastered all over her face, you could tell that this was painful for her. Megan is like that irritating person that just hovers, doesn't know what to do, and you have to constantly babysit and cannot be left alone for like two seconds. 
Megan is very needy, very annoying, and has this constant thirst for validation. Catherine didn't want to be your friend, Megan. It's time to move on. What do you guys think? Definitely leave your thoughts below. As always, I'll be back with more content, but until then, please be safe, and I'll talk to you later. Bye! I was such a broad. <laughs>